two packets of ramen. This seems very ambitious for someone that has not eaten. You're not going to be able to eat any of that. I'm trying to show you how hungry I am. <laughs> I can see how hungry you are. He's not gonna be able to eat any of that. Guys, guess what today is? <laughs> I'll tell you. This morning, my brother-in-law Landon texted me and was like, happy anniversary, and I, I genuinely ignored it because I was like, what is he talking about? And then my sister Julie was like, happy anniversary, and I was like, Julie, why did you say that? I was like, that's what Landon said. I was like, is it May? Is it May 26th? <laughs> I was like, Joel, I got you a mullet for our anniversary. Mm, <laughs> and my hair slicked back today. And then I took it out of its pony and it became a mullet. Anyways, happy anniversary. <laughs> I gave you my breath. Do you want to smell it? Um, can smell it from here. I bet. <laughs> His jaw is so sore. He's like, it's not necessarily my throat. It's my jaw. Inside of my mouth, like the, my tongue and the roof of my mouth and then the back where my like my molars are, it is so tender, like that just throbs. And just for reference sake, any other adult that is preparing to go in for a tonsillectomy. Don't do it. <laughs> How many times have you cried? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> And I just like tear up right along with him and I'm like, I know exactly how you feel. I know how you feel and it's just ratchet. And Joel just thought he was going to breeze right through this. And I've left the bedroom a couple times, so that's pretty good. Yeah. I didn't leave the house for one month. <laughs> I was like canceling life. Taking your medicine. Mm -hmm. Joel's almost out of his medication, so I will call the doctor this morning and we'll get you hopefully another refill. I know exactly why they're super stingy with medication, but like Joel is having to take like the smallest amount because of like the opioid epidemic. Epidemic. I was thinking pandemic, <laughs> epidemic, which I take very seriously. I think it's like I've watched people go through opioid addictions and it's not a fun thing. But I wanted to tell you what lady was doing so <laughs> she misses you so much <laughs> look at her look at and the look at the way joel holds her see her one foot around his other side she's an infant she has one hand up on his shoulder one hand here she's an infant anyway so your door was closed and whenever the door is closed i put a blanket there to kind of muffle the sound from all the kids she came down here and she was like and she was like clawing at the blanket, but she knew she couldn't bark. Mm -hmm. So she would not bark, and then she would like kind of walk away, and then she'd come over, and I swear to you, she was mad because she was going, <laughs> she was like hitting the blanket. <laughs> she knew you were in there, and she wanted you. She's like, um, I'm supposed to be in there with him. She wanted you, she wanted to come in and um, lay, with me. lay with you. She has been laying nonstop with Joel and it's spoiling her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna go back to like work and she's gonna be like, um, wait, where's my time with my man? Look at, do you guys see how sweet she is? She's super mild. Mm -hmm. Oh, my little baby, do you just miss your daddy? She honestly was. She was just like, come on, wake up, Dad. Wake up, Dad. He's probably got food in there. <laughs> Yo, yummy. It is here. The peanut butter shake is here. Do you want a blanket? Yeah, in a minute. Okay. I got, we got a, yeah. What? I don't want to settle in just yet, because we got stuff to do. But what? Tell me. We got to fill out some paperwork. Mm. Where act? For work. I checked my email. <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, now you're in trouble because I said, I was like, don't check your email. It's time sensitive stuff, so it's okay. Feeling good. <laughs> Feeling blessed. Never stressed. 
<laughs> I told Joel, he's been doing a little bit of work as he's been recovering for this and I was like, oh yeah? <laughs> like, like I was kind of feeling bad for him and I was like, remember how I edited the vlog mm -hmm. the day I got my tonsils out? And then the day after I got my tonsils out, and then the next day, it was when Joel was still working and I was editing. At that time, we were Monday, recording. Wednesday, we were recording and then posting the next day. So, uh, oh my gosh, your breath! I know it's so offensive. It is. It's, it tastes just bad. <laughs> I know it's fine. You can have stinky breath. I like this so it's much. I want to just think of us so much. Oh, and then also remember when I edited the vlog the day I gave birth? Oh, <laughs> remember? <laughs> Being a week ahead, I know it was such a sad like thing for people, but it has saved our lives. Mm -hmm. So, hey, what well, uh, mm. But but the shake is right there, oh, and and you were trying to go upstairs to work, and well, I and I just caught a uh, shake for you, and I don't want it to melt for you. Open my mouth. <laughs> He's the worst at recovering. <laughs> right here, right here, in my jaw. What is it? Is that normal? No, no. Come on, Joey. Hey boys. Come on, little cootie. We need actually the boys. We gotta get some measurements off them. But you do realize they just saw you do that in the mirror, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh hand. my gosh. That's so inappropriately amazing, huh? Inappropriately amazing. <laughs> this will be for Joel for later. No, 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 put it in the freezer. It's just gonna go in there. All the neighbor kids are outside and they all want fat boys. Let me go down and get you some fat boys. Yay! We do not mind investing in um, outdoor toys because I make my kids stay outside morning to night. Oh, I was expecting something cool, Boston. <laughs> wow. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, freeze, freeze. You are not allowed to jump on the tramp if someone's underneath. Do you understand? Yeah, right here. Guys, I need to hear you tell me that you understand. Yes. Mom, can lady under? No. What? Lady, well. Can I jump? Yeah, she can. Okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> Lincoln couldn't give two craps about anyone, anything. Okay, my Nope, you guys are staying outside. Once you're outside, you're outside. And if you get wet in your clothes, then you have to lay in the sun to dry. Those, nope, those are the summer rules. Once you're out, you're out and you don't come back in. Literally, those are the summer rules. I'm getting fat boys for the kids outside. And I just wanted to show you, this is the last shelf that we needed to organize. So up top we have several Q-tips, deodorants, then we have all of our like bathroom stuff. We have our flossers. I used to do this stuff, but I really think these are convenient. These are like my favorite thing. I'll link these in the description. Then we have all of the hair care stuff. And let me tell you, okay, first let me find the big jug of it. Where's the big jug of it? Um, I have some really large shampoo jugs. I'm not sure, oh, right here. I love Pureology. That is what I use for my hair care stuff. So I will link Pureology because that's what I use constantly. It is more expensive, but I can't use other stuff. Like my hair just doesn't work with other stuff. So that's what I use and I buy the huge bottles of it because it's cheaper. It's ridiculously expensive, but cheaper than constantly buying the small ones. And then I refill my ones upstairs in my bathroom. So that's what I use. I'll link in the description. And then what I use for the kids and even if I, if I use their shower, I'll use this stuff. This is very, very cheap. So I think this is like seven bucks, but it's the closest thing to like a professional hair product that you can get from Walmart. I've got this hair mask. They have all sorts of things like um, hair oil and um, texturizing powder. And I'm not kidding you, this powder is like the real deal. So these things you can get from Walmart. I will link my favorites in the description for you guys. So if you want to, Go ahead and 
check those out. Anyway, so then I've got like sunblock. I talked a ton about sunblock on my Instagram stories. I have a really hard time finding sunblock that I can wear underneath my makeup because I just don't like the way that it doesn't mesh well with my foundation and stuff. I'm really picky about sunblock. So I've been, I tried this off of everyone's recommendations and guys, it is the real deal. If I stock up on it in my cold room, that means it's good. So I will link this stuff in the description. I don't think I like these creams. This one's a little heavier than the one I like. So I'll link the one I like in the description. Then you have like our medicine drawer, like shelf. So um, I think we bought a lot too much of NyQuil. There's like NyQuil, DayQuil, ZQuil, and then we have all of our like children's Tylenol. Pedialyte packets. You can buy Pedialyte in like the jugs, but they go bad. You have to use them after a certain amount of time. I love these. Even for the summertime when the kids are not sick, like if we're going somewhere and we're gonna be outside and it's gonna be hot, I'll fill their like little uh, water bottles or like sippy cups with these. They taste like fruit juice and they're just really good for the kids. So I give those to them when they're sick and when they need a little extra hydration. So there's that, then we've got like adult Tylenol, Zyrtec D, all the things, band-aids. I love the emergency things. Anyway, so there's that, and then I have all of like my cleaning supplies. So vinegar, dish soap. I want to have minimum two of everything on hand, and then when I use one, I go put it on the grocery list, and then when I buy a new one, I stick it behind those so it's like first in, first out. And then I have like my kitchen stuff that I constantly rotate through, so like, Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, paper plates, paper cups, and then all the utensils right here. And honestly, I don't know why, but this just brings so much satisfaction to me. I just, I just like it. So anyway, I don't know why we've spent so much time showing you the cold room, but I think it's been kind of fun. Um, I do not allow my kids in this room. It's nice for birthdays and holidays if you get my drift because they sneak into things and they eat things that they're not supposed to or they'll eat like an entire box of fat boys you know what i'm saying okay you guys can share these you guys can have as many as you want if you want to go find the other neighbors and share you can but no more after that okay mom they have to leave at 12 30. okay well you better get eating the fat boys i guess we are preparing for a super fun video. You guys are gonna die! We're so excited. I don't think people even realize, like, like when you see a video, <laughs> especially like branded videos, it's like, it isn't just we just put that video together. There is so much that goes into them. It's kind of, it, it's fun. I enjoy the process, but just kind of cluing you guys in on like what we have to do to go in on it. Do you want me to write these or are you okay? I think it's okay. All right. Kind of like a day in the life, I guess you could say. <laughs> Am I driving you crazy? Mm -mm. I like feel like I miss you. No, I do miss you. Like I miss him. All he like he just wants to do his own thing. This is the most chipper. The reason the camera is out is because Mr. Helene is very chipper um, right now. He's not been the most chipper. Huh. Have I been honoring? Oh, honey. Have I? Yes. Need to come? We are going to trim your face. She's like, no. <laughs> okay, gotta hold really still. I have. She has to get comfortable with me. I have to get comfortable with her. We're gonna cut the hair away from your eyes. Anyone that knows what they're doing is like, you're an idiot. I don't care. This is what I gotta do. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just going to cut hair away no <laughs> this is so scary for both of us and everyone watching is thinking mommy's such an idiot but that's what we gotta do because i couldn't get her in for like three weeks they opened up their doors and people were like i'm, I'm not holding her neck just so you know i'm just holding her jaw guys this is not gonna work i'm not gonna cut unless you're holding still you've gotta hold still Good girl! Did it! I'm not 
going to cut until you're holding still. Got it. Good girl. See, it just took a little second. It's going great. I'm just holding it like a like I would be cutting a human. See, I'm just holding it here and then cutting on the top just like so. See, she's more, no, uh-uh. Nope, hold stuff. I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, let me see. Now we gotta do underneath the beard. I am not gonna do her entire body, otherwise I would do clippers, but like, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just doing the spots that like really actually need it, which is just around her face, because her hair is like in her eyes. Okay, this might not seem like it's a successful cut, but it's totally successful. See, now your beard isn't so, so long, and your hair isn't in your eyes. Look, we got your hair cut. We got it cut around your eyes, see? And she still is happy with me. Good girl. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna finish trying to cut a little bit more of her face. Look, and she's not even traumatized. <gasps> good girl, good girl. Yes, you're so good girl. That looks so much better. Okay, we will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.